Hello, this is MEI Further Maths Core Pure. We're in the third complex numbers section and on the fourth video on dividing complex numbers in modulus argument form. You can watch the video straight through, but you will probably find it helpful sometimes to pause the video and try things out for yourself before continuing to watch. In the last video, we found a really neat rule for multiplying complex numbers in modulus argument form. Now we're going to do the same for dividing. You might like to pause the video and see how far you can get with this on your own first. So, following our usual rules for dividing complex numbers, we're going to start by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Ignoring the real number r2, that's cos theta 2 minus i sine theta 2. All over r2 cos theta 2 plus i sine theta 2 times cos theta 2 minus i sine theta 2. Now we multiply out. That's cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus i cos theta 1 sine theta 2 plus i sine theta 1 cos theta 2 minus i squared sine theta 1 sine theta 2. And the denominator, r2 cos theta 2 squared minus i squared sine squared theta 2. Difference of two squares there in the denominator as usual. So, in the numerator, collecting real and imaginary parts, we've got cos theta 1 cos theta 2. And then I've got an i squared, which is minus 1, so plus sine theta 1, sine theta 2. And then the imaginary terms, taking the positive one first, sine theta 1, cos theta 2, minus cos theta 1, sine theta 2. And the denominator cos squared theta 2 plus sine squared theta 2. OK, now comes the neat bit. This real term here, cos theta 1, cos theta 2 plus sine theta 1, sine theta 2, is just cos of theta 1 minus theta 2. And sine theta 1, cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1, sine theta 2, is sine of theta 1 minus theta 2 using the addition formulae. And in the numerator, cos squared plus sine squared is 1, so we've just got R2. So our final result is R1 over R2 multiplied by cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 plus I sine theta 1 minus theta 2. So you can see that the modulus of z1 over z2 is the modulus of z1 over the modulus of z2 and the argument of z1 over z2 is the argument of z1 take away the argument of z2. This is another really useful result that allows us to divide numbers really quickly when they're in modulus argument form. Here's an example. Pause the video while you have a go at it yourself first. Don't forget to check at the end that your argument is between minus pi and pi. OK, z1 over z2 is equal to 6 over 4 multiplied by cos of 5 pi over 6 take away 
minus pi over 4 plus i sine 5 pi over 6 take away minus pi over 4. That comes out to be 3 over 2 cos 13 pi over 12 plus i sine 13 pi over 12. But our argument here is bigger than pi and we need to get it into the range for a principal argument. So we take away 2 pi to get us right round a full turn. So that's 3 over 2 cos minus 11 pi over 12 plus i sine minus 11 pi over 12. And I'll put those negative arguments into brackets to make it a little clearer. There are more notes on integral on dividing in modulus argument form. That's the end of this short video. The next video in the series is on modulus definitions for loci.